you know, I'm aware just as anybody else out there that plastic waste is a, is a, is a concern, it's a problem. It's hurting the environment to such an extent that it is uh, questioning many of the things that we do in every, everyday life and uh, something needs to be done. So one of the things that, that drives me the most in the morning isn't sort of, uh, you know, I have a project or something like that, is the fact that I'm, I have a chance to do something. Scale is a key to, to making a difference in the world because if you can't do this at scale, you're not going to make one. The technology that we, uh, we use uh, is designed to convert waste plastics back into liquid hydrocarbons or oil, if you like, the um, original components of what plastic uh, is made of, and reintroduce that into the existing petrochemical complex with a view of producing plastics again. So we recycle uh, um, waste plastics and close the loop, so to speak. This technology is important uh, because not all the current uh, uh, plastic can be mechanically recycled. We need advanced recycling as a complementary recycle technology to make sure that we bring these materials that cannot be recycled today back into the circular economy. It's very important that with whatever partner we will work with, that that partner can scale up quickly. Uh, and with Mura, we found that partner that has the right technology, but also has that, has that capability to scale up quickly and make sure that we divert plastics uh, from being incinerated back into useful applications. They take plastic waste and that plastic waste is converted to a liquid, uh, to oil. That oil will be cleaned and then will be a feed for our cracker and with that uh, product we can make plastics again. Yeah? So we go all the way around from waste plastics through this conversion back to plastic application. You really need to have the right technology and then chemical recycling can drive circularity for these applications. Sometimes in the industry and, and in society you get the discussion going on how mechanical recycling and chemical recycling would coexist, whether they're complementary or competitive. If we're talking to close this gap further and increase the recycled content as well, the recycling rates, then we need to as well focus on flexible packaging, which we use in supermarkets every day. And that is a somewhat more challenging um, space to really drive circularity and recycling. But if we want to move fast, we need the complementarity of both of these technologies in order to really enhance the scale of the overall circularity equation to reduce our exposure to fossil fuels. How do we see the scale up of, uh, of recycling, uh, mechanical and advanced recycling beyond Europe in the world to fight against plastic pollution issue? We are having investments to different kinds of flagship projects across the globe, like for example in South Asia. All these to basically go to places in which nothing is existing in waste infrastructure and start moving the needle. The circular economy is uh, bringing back these products into similar applications. And I think the important point is similar applications. There has been recycling taking place already today, but that typically means bringing materials back into lower quality applications, like for example, garbage bags. And I think that's a linear economy still that we want to get rid of in making sure that we use uh, these materials as resources and bring them back into the same application and therefore make the entire uh, make the entire system circular that means no material gets lost to the environment anymore <music>